Hey, hey, all you mentees. Oh my gosh, I just realized that sounded like Fat Albert. Uh, hey, what's going on, all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Year Mint Condition. And join me as I do an overview of the recent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW Collection Volume 10. So, please stay tuned. So here we have Volume 10 of the ongoing TMNT Universe series from IDW. I've done an overview of some of these in the past, but one of you viewers wanted me to do more of a closer look at recent volumes that have come out. And I will again stress how much I love these. Uh, this is my favorite retelling. It's my favorite interpretation. Uh, it's my favorite Ninja Turtle story ever. You don't need to have read anything from the past. The Eastman and Laird stuff, you don't need to have been a fan of the movies, the animated shows, the original animated shows, the new ones, whatever. Reincarnation, this is the best reincarnation of the Ninja Turtles that I've ever read. So, here is volume 10. As you can see, it is Krang on the cover. And how it fits in with the rest of the hardcovers. I love that each of the hardcovers is a different color. Um, each one of these comes with its own little ribbon and each ribbon is usually the color of the spine or who the character is in, on the front cover. Of course, red for Raph, blue for Leo, purple for Donnie, and orange for Mikey. They all have the same format, character cover on the front, the spine of a different color like I mentioned and then the back with the character's full body and the price $49.99 is how much each of these are. And as I was pulling these out, I noticed something. This is the third time we've had a purple bookmark ribbon. So I guess they didn't want to use pink. And one more thing I'll say about these ribbons, you know how much I love them, is that later printings of some of these older books don't have a ribbon or some of them do and some of them don't depending on where they were printed. So that is one thing to keep in mind if you didn't buy these as they were coming out. And this is something that actually some of my viewers have told me. And if you bought them after they've been reprinted, like I said, some of them will not include a ribbon. But everything else is the same. Now, let's take a little closer look at the book. So here we have the cover with Kang. Uh, it is volume 10, and each of the numbers are up here at the top. Here is Kang in his full robot outfit. I don't do spoilers on these overviews, but sometimes I can't help. I mean, if you don't know who Kang is, uh, yeah, he's a little brain guy from Dimension X. So here is the build of the book, uh, the bookend pages back here. There's Professor Honey, Honeycut, I think is his name, Fugitoid. And then we have the table of contents here, telling you what issues are included in here, who the writers were, and who the uh, artists are. Now, it's really cool because Kevin Eastman is still writing these, but there's a person I don't give enough credit for my enjoyment of these books or why I love these books so much, and that's Tom Waltz. Tom Waltz is the co-writer of each of the ongoing Ninja Turtles issues, and he is phenomenal at doing this. He really... Uh, is probably the unsung hero of the TMNT uh, universe. So, now we have two ongoing series. We have the TMNT uh, universe, and then we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the ongoing series. Kind of in the same way that Transformers had Lost Light, Robots in the Skies, uh, Morton Meets the Eye, and Optimus Prime. All in the same universe, but just different series. And let me show you some more of this gorgeous artwork. So, what does this book include? This book book collects Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe, issues 19 and 20, um, and then issues 73 and through 75 of the ongoing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. It's got the Dimension X miniseries. That is a really cool miniseries. It's where uh, Kang is being sent back to Dimension X to go under trial. And, of course, the Turtles have to escort the witness. Oh, it's such a cool story. It's a five-issue miniseries that's included in here. And also the TMNT Ghostbusters 2 uh, crossover miniseries, which was also five issues. And I'm trying to uh, go through these pages without spoiling anything. TMNT and Ghostbusters already had a crossover event. It happened, I believe, I want to say it was in book seven. And now this is the second one here. 
And my wife absolutely loved these. Like she bought these individually, uh, individual issues as they were coming out. She loved the artwork and she loved the story. And that is, I think Dan Schoening is the guy that drew these. And you have Corey Smith as well drawing some of the stuff. The only person I didn't see that I'm always sad not to see uh, the name Sophie Campbell on these books. Uh, but I know Sophie will be back later on to, uh, with the next collection. Because Volume 11 has already been solicited. 384 pages of pure mutant cowabunga action. I feel so ridiculous saying that, but I don't care. It's Ninja Turtles. You know, if you're not a kid at heart reading this, then you have no soul. I don't know if that's a true statement. Sometimes I just ramble on these damn things. And just like I'm doing right now. Where was I? Where was I going with that thought? Yes, Volume 11 has been solicited. Volume 10 is here. We got all the way up to issue 75. We know that they're a couple of years behind. Because this also has the free comic book day, uh, Ninja Turtles 2017. So, like I said... So a couple of years behind to tell, just fill in those hardcovers with more and more in the way that they've been doing the Transformers. So if you haven't read these, you owe it to yourself to at least check out the first volume. But to me, the story really didn't get kicking and become really addicting until probably the second, the, the second half of the second hardcover. They are the best way to collect them. The way that the collecting, um, the collected editions department maps these out is perfect like this is where you like even in between the mini series sometimes they'll put an issue in saying no i think this issue will read better here there are some familiar faces that if you ever watch the cartoon are here they are completely different characters though they're not the same as the cartoons or the original series now let's look at the build like i've already said it comes with a ribbon uh this particular volume being a purple ribbon oh another thing before i look at the build really quick is this it's really cool. So there's always a variant with each of the comics. So they'll put the uh, the original cover right here as before the story begins. So this is Dimension X number three. And then at the ending, they'll put the variant cover on the opposite page of the, uh, the regular cover of issue four. And then the variant will be at the end of the story. So as you could probably tell, it is sewn binding and that eye is perfect. And here's your ribbon. I have never heard a single complaint. I have never heard a single complaint about these books, with the exception of the first printing of volume one, which I have. Some people's, like the spine started ripping apart from the ribbon, um, so, or and some of the pages started coming out. I never had that issue, knock on wood, but I know that some people complained about it. But the second, third, fourth printing of the first volume, they're completely fine. These are well worth the price of admission, at least to me. And my kid also enjoys these books, which I'm sure we will actually, we'll probably end up reviewing this one, this series soon. Now, if you're wanting to purchase these, you can get them from CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. Cheap Graphic Novels Black Friday sale is continuing all through December, so there's still time to save up to 95% off thousands of books. Additional books will be added throughout the month, so be sure to check back often and stay tuned to CGN on social media to be the first to know when the new books have been added to the sale. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents of the book, the build of the book, and the page count. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking these books up. If you're not, you're missing out on one of the greatest comics out these days. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, the notifications button to let you know when our videos are going live. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for joining me. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.